Steve Arnold, my father Harold, uh, he moved to Butte Falls in 1944. Um, he grew up in a, di a different area over in the Applegate area though, but he moved up here. Uh, went to school maybe one year and then uh, finished out his high school career down in Medford um, but my grandmother his mother lived here all her life pretty much since 40, 1944 um, the roads up here were pretty much dirt road they weren't paved they weren't graveled they were nothing um, let's see Logging was a big, uh, big business then. Uh, there was forest service was started uh, around, around about that time too. So um, he does remember a lot of the older folks, like Bill Edmondson that you have here, Ernest Smith, all the, all the most all the Smiths. Um, Ten Gates, um, <laughs> Lou Geppert, Geppert's, um, I was, uh, me, uh, born and raised here, so, um, of course in the late 60s, um, Went to the, both grade school, high school, graduated, went to college, and then had to move back, so um, great place to live. It's a real tight, committed, knitted community. What was your occupation? Mine? Uh, working in the automotive, cleaning up vehicles. His was in the automotive as an automotive mechanic for 30, 30 years for uh, Forest Service. Um, he's, uh, we, I've seen a lot of change over the years. Went from, went from gravel, dirt roads to gravel, and, and now we got pavement, so it's kind of neat. <laughs> um, the life up here, it's uh, more laid back, and um, the only thing bad about living up here, it's too so far to go to uh, go to town, especially groceries. Uh, you have to take you about an hour to get to town, but uh, well now it take you around 45 minutes to an hour. But back then, yeah, the road went different, completely different before the highway was put in the way you uh, drive now it came over open chain mountain and uh, they used to tell everybody you better get your provisions in before october because you couldn't get your model t ford over the over the mountain but uh does your dad have a story yeah i don't know Carol, you said you had a story huh? do you have a story do you have a story? About working for the Forest Service? What story is that? About the Forest Service. About your... Working for the Forest Service. Trail crew. How far back do you want to go? Yeah, however far back you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and start. Okay. okay. Well, let's see. I started Forest Service way back in 1954. Mm -hmm. I'll get it right up there. Go ahead. Yeah, I worked from Clarep to uh, 
was uh, about 55. <laughs> then I went, went to or o Oregon Tech School for learning to mechanics course on GI Bill. And, and then after that, I worked. I had a break from Forest Service, started being a mechanic in Pendleton for about a couple of years. Then I came back here and Help my dad work the mining claim in '58, and after that, but when he passed away in '62, I signed up for the Forest Service again. Stayed with him since then, clear up to 1985. And that's about the history of me. <laughs> Tell me about the mining claim. Huh? Tell about the mining claim. Huh? About the mining claim. Oh, about the mining claim? Well, that was... They first started that in 1915. And it, I don't know if it's still in the family yet or not. Yeah, it is? It, okay. But that kept us a-going in the 30s. It's out of Joseph. That Lincoln. was it. There was no job anywhere. <laughs> Because at that time, I know my, my dad's brother, uh, Melvin. Yeah, he worked at the uh, time, he took a job at the Blue Ridge mine out there, out there at that copper mine. It was going back in those early days. Oh boy, the boy in the tw after 29, he was pretty wicked, they said. The uh, stock market Let's price see. 29. Are you guys related to the Arnold's? I'm trying to think what else. The Arnold's have the Uncle uh, Which one? Vern Arnold? That's my cousin. And, okay. That's my cousin. Okay. We it's my first, first cousin. And the Collins family. Collins? Yes. Yeah. They're the, they were a family friend for many, many years. Okay. So how are you related to the Arnold? Who's the, what's your mother's name? My what's mother's... Your grandmother and grandfather's name? My grandfather's name was Hiram, Jim for short, and then uh, Maud is my grandmother. Okay. And um, let's see, great uncle Melvin, that was... Uh, um, my grandmother's, or my, my grandfather's cousin. Yeah, Vernie is a cousin of mine and Janet. Janet is the other one. Do you have a story about working in the Forest Service? I'm about the Forest Service? Oh. Well, now within, I've been sent on many fires with them. He was on a yeah, lookout. Well, see. Oh yeah, this is that year they had that happy campfire down there. Yeah, I was sent on that. Yeah, there was a friend of mine, Dale Thompson up there. He was with me on it. He was in the Forest Service. We got to ride with a little, little how they changing crews on top of Tim's Peak. They take us in in one of those little helicopters up there. He didn't want to ride on the outside. He, there's no doors on it. I right? didn't mind it. We was up there, and the funny part when they took us off of that, we had to take us off of the helicopter. So and the pilot took off and got out away from the peak a ways that Dale hollered at me, we're not going very fast, and I put the air indicator on him and I says, well, I'm doing 125. <laughs> well, we're not going down. I said, no, and I pointed to the altimeter and the big bile it was just a duck. I said, well, we're dropping like a rock, and I looked at the pilot, he grinned, I said, <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
That's a great story. Thank you. You betcha. Thank you.